Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what causes a ball to curb when it is kicked or thrown and the aerodynamic principle behind it. There are many instances where a football, a baseball or a golf ball takes a curved path after it is kicked, thrown or hit in a particular manner. This curved path is because of a particular spin that is given on the ball and an aerodynamic effect around the ball because of the spin. This aerodynamic effect is called as the Magnus effect. So what is this Magnus effect? The Magnus effect is an aerodynamic effect which can be seen on a rotating circuit or object such as a ball. According to this principle, a rotating circular object will create a force towards one direction. This is because air is displaced towards one side and less air is present on the other, which creates an imbalance, thus causing a force in a particular direction. The direction of the force depends on the axis of rotation. If the axis is horizontal, then the circular object will experience an upward or a downward force. If the axis is vertical, the object will experience a sideways force. As the ball is moving forward, depending on the direction of rotation of the ball, it will take a curved path in a particular direction. So if the ball is rotating in this direction, the ball will tend to curve towards this side. And if the ball is rotating in this direction, it will tend to curve towards this side. The rotation of the ball is made possible by giving a spin on the ball when it is being hit or thrown or kicked. By giving a spin on the ball, it starts to rotate as it moves forward, causing it to curve because of the displacement of the air. Depending on the amount of spin or the speed of rotation of the ball, the curved path may be short or long. The size of the ball does not have an impact on the curved path, but the outer shape of the ball does have a major impact on how much the ball will curve for the same amount of spin. If the ball is smooth, it won't curve much for a certain amount of spin. But if the ball is not smooth and has some stitches or dimples on it, it will curve more for the same amount of spin. This is because the rough surface on the ball improves the flow characteristics across the ball, which improves the air that is displaced, thus providing a better curved path. So that's all for my video on the aerodynamics of a rotating or a spinning ball and the Magnus effect. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.